was skeptical about this unit at first. If y'all seen my previous V-Part wig, I said it at the end of that. Um, it was a straight version of a V-Part and now I'm working with Curly from Crea, y'all. So enjoy this install because I think it turned out fire if I do say to myself. And just here's some tips on how to install a V-Part wig, grab some snacks, kick it with me and let's vibe out. Hey girlies, welcome back to the channel. Today we're getting into a super easy hair install. So all my babes that love a good old traditional sew-in, this V-Part wig from Crea is going to be a must. And the links to this exact wig will be listed in the description box below. I'm gonna start off by taking the amount of hair I want left out at the top to cover the track as well as around my edges. This is going to make your install look seamless and professional like a traditional sew-in. But this is like a cheat code because this V-Part wig doesn't require the same type of maintenance as a sew-in and the best part you can do it in the comfort of your own home without hunting down your favorite stylist because you know around the holidays good sis is always busy so you know this one once again is like a cheat sheet so make sure you check out that description because Korea hair definitely came through with this one so you don't have to do this you can honestly put your hair in two ponytails or just one depending on how long your hair is but what i decided to do was just go ahead and braid the rest of my hair because i didn't want any bulkiness to my wig so you have to be careful with that if you do want to just put your hair in a ponytail Okay, so we're going to get into some of the products that I'm using to grease my scalp. I'm using the Essential 17 Oil, this Millie Styling Gel. This is the Honey Ginger Amazing Mango Lime Locking Gel and a Roby Wrap Lotion. Now, the Mango Lime Locking Gel, that was just in my house because I had just tried to retwist my homegirl's hair, y'all. And it was giving very much so, look, you left it at my house, so it's getting used in this video now. I really did like what it did for me, but let's just talk about the construction of this wig. So, it does does come with five clamps at the top three combs one on each side and one in the back and an adjustable strap so everything is secure I love the clamps though because the clamps are so flat secured and like sturdy I just never like experienced clamps this strong and this nice I love the fact that they put the combs on the sides versus the clamps because I just feel like the combs are a little bit more forgiving on your edges in that area so I just don't want to like cause any tear to my edges with the clamps now I'm just combing the hair out and adding this Nairobi wrap lotion to the hair I don't like to add the wrap lotion on the uniform curl that it comes with so I like to just comb it out and just you know break that through the hair and that's basically what I'm going to be doing and using some of those products that you just seen it will be listed in the description box below but I'll just let you guys vibe out and watch me put this Nairobi all throughout the hair and I'll come back when I'm doing my leave out Alright, so now that we got the Nairobi all through the strands, you guys, we're just going to just, you know, comb everything down, make sure everything is flat and work on this leave out. Like I said, I'm going in with the mango lime and I'm going in with the Camille styling gel, that honey ginger styling gel. And this is second day blown out hair. So these curls turned out really nice after a little bit of struggle okay I don't ever do this to my hair so this really was my first time and I was very skeptical about this situation so bear with me you are going to be seeing me use two different size flexi rods and that's just because I didn't have all the purple ones and I didn't have all the red ones so I had to make do what I had you know what I'm saying so I used both and I was thankful that I used both because I love the outcome of the different like sizes of curls that I had or whatever and if you have a curlier texture than mind i would honestly say do that blown out you know job and then do this because if you try to work on freshly washed hair and then try to do this i just feel like that stretch isn't just you know the best for trying to mimic a curl pattern that you have like this if that makes sense but 
it just depends on how you want your hair. If you want your hair to be a little bit more uniform, a little bit more like flip over, whatever, you can probably get away with that. But I have been playing with this hair for about a month now. This hair is still installed in my hair right now because I love it so much and it's so easy to put on and take off. So I'm just, you know, adding my water, detangling, and then I go in with a little bit of that styling gel again just to hit the ends. So this hair can be tamed all day because I love that the hair does have like different layers to it so if you don't add the styling gel it does give that diana that big feel and i love that but this day i wanted it to be a little bit more tame because it was my first time working with trying to manipulate my leave out and make it look like this texture so like i said a little trial and error you know um i realized that i needed to add I needed to add a edge control to the root of my hair because my hair is just way curlier than this. So I had to redo a few of my pieces, add the edge control, reapplied the flexi rods, and I let that sit again, and I actually got the results that I was looking for. I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT. Two turn, baby, girl, you know me. Still with the dolls that I grew beside. All the niggas around me, right at it, guy. Gotta watch the time, cause it's flying right by. I'm outside in the AMG, right outside, DT. Two turn, baby girl, you know me. Who am I? All the niggas around me, right at it, guy. Gotta watch the time, cause it's flying right by. Two turn, baby girl, you know me. I just caught a shorty up a fan star. Just threw on a hoodie, it's a great. I feel like the next time I do this, I'll be really professional at it, okay? I'll be semi-pro. So I'm really excited that I was able to share the process with you guys because I'm not the best at everything, but I try to at least use like common sense when it comes to my hair type. Yeah, so I will list Kriya. I think that's how you pronounce this company's name information in the description box below if you guys are interested in this wig from them i already had tried out a v part body wave unit before and i loved it the construction on this one was the exact same as the last one very snug fitting had the combs had the clips on top of it as well as the drawstring in the back so you can adjust it or the um, adjustable straps in the back so you can adjust it to each side so you can have a really snug fit but yeah everything that you need to know about Kriya will be listed down below so make sure you check it out but thank you guys for always being here supporting me and I love you and I will see you all in my next one my